is Thursday, which means it is time for the best part of the day. Yes, we are joined by Jody and Bender from Mornings on 95.7 The Jet. Hey guys, did the you watch the Kraken game part yesterday? Of the day. What's that? <laughs> did you watch the Kraken game yesterday? I, well, yes, we did. Are you kidding? <laughs> You're rocking the jersey. I'm here. Oh my God. So here it is. We get, of course, one more game at Climate Pledge. It's going to be the game tomorrow night where we, we, like we have anything to do with it. We, we are <laughs> ousting the reigning Stanley Cup champion, Colorado we. Avalanche. We are. By the way, do you like the way we are here in studio? We're testing all of our cameras and so on. And now Jody is on my side of the board. This is where I typically stay, and Jody's over there. But yeah. look, look, look. Look. Yeah, we have to share today, so say, bear with us. Say hi to everybody, Jody. Yeah, I said hi. <laughs> How are you guys? You good? Really good. We're doing good. We're excited for tomorrow. Talking all sports all the time. But apparently there's some movies that we need to talk about. Well, see, here's the thing. Uh, CinemaCon has been going on, and they unveiled a couple of movies. And again, depending upon your age do either of you guys remember the fall guy remember the fall guy they're not gonna know the fall guy, no. I barely know the fall guy. Oh, what? lee majors no as no. the as the stunt man turned bounty no. oh no. lee Wilson. majors it's gonna be ryan gosling as colt Seavers, who oh, of course was immortalized by lee majors <laughs> they don't know who lee Majors. <laughs> You know who Lee Majors is, the $6 million man? No, they don't know. We know, know Ryan Gosling. Gosling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're here okay. for the energy. The new Barbie movie. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so that's one of the movies that has been unveiled. Uh, Fast 10 Part 2. Vin Diesel's already pimping the sequel to the movie that's not even out yet. We're still doing that. The X. The, what's that? We're still doing that. We're still making those movies. Yeah, we're still doing okay. that. <laughs> yes, we are. In fact, we need more. Apparently. In fact, all next week. On the morning show on 95.7 The Jet, we have tickets to see Fast 10. Then that's great. The the premiere screening of it, so that's good. Um, looking forward to that. The Exorcist is going to be rebooting with a new trilogy, and that <laughs> was unveiled at CinemaCon. And apparently scared the bejesus out of everyone. Like The original the was scary. This is supposed to be amazing. <laughs> it's ama it got rave reviews at CinemaCon. All right. Well, let's right. switch and, gears a little and, bit. One family I hear is making sure that their kid gets a lot of protein, but not in the way you might expect. Uh, fill us in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to yield the floor for Jody yeah. and her story. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, a writer, a food writer actually in Toronto has an 18-month-old daughter, and she found that her grocery bills were getting kind of out of control. So she decided to supplement her protein, not with beef or chicken or pork or any of the traditional ways that we are familiar with. She decided to start feeding her crickets. Um, oh, what? Yeah, um, crickets. crickets. Crickets, yeah. Crickets, you know, in some parts of the world, sure. insects are eaten quite regularly, but not Toronto. That's not necessarily one of those parts of the world. So. You can get chocolate-covered ones at T-Mobile Park. And you <laughs> apparently yeah. can get Perfect. powdered crickets as well. And you can put it in pancakes, and you can put it in cereals and oatmeal. And her daughter is 18 months old and very healthy. Um, she tried feeding her a whole cricket, and the little girl said no and spit it out. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just like Bender would. Yeah. Right. 100%. You guys ever try insects of any kind? That's I don't think so. A no for me. But what happens when this little child becomes, you know, of kindergarten age and is out <laughs> playing in the grass and is just down in crickets in front of all the students? Then she will have her own issues uh, to deal with. And uh, maybe it'll be a popularity thing. Maybe it'll make her original and unique that she enjoys eating bugs that she finds out on the playground. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But she's getting all the protein. Oh, That's all that matters. In 2035. Lots of protein. Who I can't who knows? believe you guys don't don't know what the fall guy is. I'm very disappointed in that. I can't. That was a great show. What year? What, what year was that? 1943. Nin <laughs> okay. Well. 19, it was, it was in the 80s. Yeah. The, okay. Yeah, that it was, was in the before. 80s. We weren't old yeah. enough. I wasn't born. <laughs> okay. Man, am I that old? I'm not even old enough. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, go Kraken! Go Kraken! Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We'll talk to you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Crickets. That's my takeaway. Crickets. All right, still to come here on Studio 13 Live, if you want to head to the Skagit Valley to see the tulips, you still have some time. Yeah, because Tulip Town announced an extension to its season. Just how long you have coming up.